Nail crew, I'm on a time crunch today. The kids are in the nail room and they are ready to go out for dinner. So I'm gonna go super quick and try to create an easy, fast look for you guys. Keep watching if you wanna see what I come up with. All right, gang, so look at this cute little bag, guys. So <laughs> this is a poly gel kit from Model Ones. Let me open it and take everything out. Like they really, they really packed this bag Oh good. <laughs> like they stuffed so many things in this little bag, even dual forms. Okay, come through. <laughs> so this is supposed to be like a little travel bag. Let's say you're going on vacation and you just need to, you know, have like an emergency bag in case your poly gel nails break or chip and you want to fix it. So I do kind of consider this an emergency kit. So here are instructions on how to do your nails. I love that they included instructions. Thank you very, very much. So this is the bag that it comes in and it looks like a little unicorn. Oh my God, y'all know I'm a sucker for packaging and pretty things. I need to do better, y'all. I really do. Okay, so here are the dual forms. So I'm going to try to show you guys the largest one. It says YL Nails. And I believe I already showed you guys this type of dual form before. They're really, really large. Look at that. Boom. I think, let me see. So that was a size one. I think they should, yeah, okay. So this one is a size zero. You see how large that is? Hello, Princess Nails by Diana always complains she can't find dual forms for her large thumbs. Girl, if your thumbs can't fit in these, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, girl. <laughs> Those dual forms should fit anybody. All right, so this kit also comes with some top coat and base coat. So I'm giving you guys a little drip test. And I gave it a little sniff. It smells like regular top coat and base coat. Nothing crazy or awful or weird or anything like that. And let's look at this one. Just giving it a just giving it time to there we go. I was giving it time to drip. Gave it a little whiff and it smells normal. <laughs> So there's the top coat and the base coat. And then you also get a cute little file. So stinking cute and little, so little. And then here is the brush, the gel brush. So the bristles look very similar to my other poly gel brush, but this one has a cap or a lid that you can put on the back and extend the length of the brush, which I think is cool. So you can hold it like that, like a normal brush. And then when you're done, you just pop the cap off and close it. And that's what makes it really, really handy for traveling because it's so small, but then you could extend it. And then here is the slip solution. So I'm just going to open that up and give it a little sniff. So I had to shake it up to see if I could get a smell because it smells like nothing, like almost like water. So I shook it up to see if, you know, it'll activate some kind of smell, but really it just smells like nothing, which is weird. Every, every single slip solution that I have, they all smell different. So mm, I don't know what's in them. They all smell different, but they, I guess they all do the same thing. And then here is the poly gel. So I have white, I have apricot, I have a pink, and then I have a color changing one. All right, so let's start with the color changing one because I think it's the same color as the other model ones color changing one and I really like that. I'm gonna leave a link below with the video that I did with that color because it is so pretty. It is so gorgeous. So the pink one is very cute as well, but that apricot though, I like that one. And then so here is the white. All right, let me give you guys a close up. Look at that, so stinking cute. The left pink one, the one all the way to the left, the color changing one and the apricot, still my faves. The pink one right there that I circled, that's gorgeous and the white is gorgeous. Those are like standard pink and whites. Yes, they're cute. But the color changing pink and the apricot, I just love, like, oh, I love them. Okay, let's go ahead and cure them in the lamp. All right, so I cured them for 60 seconds and booyah, that pink one turned clear. And like I said, the video will be linked below where I did a full look with that 
color and I did do like some females in there and made it kind of fun so check that video out if you haven't checked it out already and so I just wanted to show you the pink like the original pink color to the clear like that is a big difference like it really changed and like most poly gels they are a bit sticky once you cure them just wipe them off with alcohol before you do your filing Andrea what color should I use come here help me decide <laughs> So this clear is this color okay. that it turned to that. Okay. But I don't want to use that one because I already did a look with that one. With the pink? Yeah, so don't pick that one. Okay. But pick any one of these. Which one? This one with diamonds. This one? Okay, yeah. I was thinking that color too. Sweet. Yeah. Okay, great. <laughs> So my niece was hanging out with me in the nail room and I needed her opinion on which one I should do today because I was so confused. <laughs> but I'm glad she picked the one that I wanted to do anyway. That kind of just confirmed that this was the one that I needed to use today for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and put the forms on Miss Tuesday. <laughs> you heard that pause? I almost called her Nala. Oh man, that would have been messed up. All right, so this is how I put the forms on. I did it in a, a video before and I showed you guys why and how. So I'm just doing it again here because someone asked me recently, what are those white things under her nails? So that's what it is. I do the forms like this just so it sticks and I don't have to use tape or band-aids or anything like that. So once the forms are on, you go ahead in with your dehydrator. Once the dehydrator dries, you go in with your primer. So that's what I'm doing now and I do do two coats of each okay so once that is dry I go in with my base coat now for acrylics I go in while the primer is still wet but with gels I go in once the primer has dried okay so that's just the way I've been doing it lately and it seems to work out for me so I went ahead and did the base coat and I'm just going to go ahead and cure that for 60 seconds. I pulled out my bowling ball lamp again. It's just so cute and it was sitting in the corner. I was like, come here, girl. Come here, girl. Get on my table. And she was like, okay. So, <laughs> so I'm using that lamp today because she's so cute and she was just in the corner staring at me looking sad. I couldn't have that. So here she is today helping us out in this video. All right, so I know you guys are like, why is she putting the poly gel right on the nail instead of on the spatula? Well, remember this kit came with a brush. The brush did not come with a spatula, right? So even though I'm not using the brush because I don't want to use a new brush when I don't have to, I am doing it as if I was using the brush. Does that make sense? I hope that made sense. I'm putting the poly gel on the nail pretending I don't have a spatula because this kit did not come with a spatula. You got it? You got it. All right, so here we go. I put the poly gel right on the nail. And the thing about this poly gel, it's thick, it's firm, it's not going anywhere. I say that all the time. Model ones, their poly gel is the thickest that I've tried, and I love that. And even like their polishes, like their gel polishes, are thick and you could really get away with one coat like model ones okay i like me some model ones <laughs> definitely love me some model ones like you could tell how smooth and easy it is to get into place and the fact that i have the poly gel on all of the nails and it's not slipping or sliding or moving anywhere i have hot lights on and a lot of times with hot lights it will cause the poly gel to be warm and then like slide here and there and everywhere. You know what I mean? And I guess, you know, it's the heat from the light. You can't really blame the product, yada, yada, yada. But when you have a firm poly gel like this one, I mean, I mean, look at it. I ain't got to tell you. You can see it ain't going nowhere. It's staying in place. And all I'm doing is pat, pat, patting it in place. I have about maybe five drops of slip solution in my little dapping dish. And that should be enough, guys, really. I put a little bit in there, and then if I need more, I just 
you know, add more to it because the way I used to do it was just add a whole lot of alcohol or slip solution in my container and then I never use it all and then I waste it. So I don't want to be wasteful. I typically try to stick with three to five drops and that gets me where I need to be. So I went ahead and did all her nails and dried them in the lamp for 60 seconds. Now I'm just brushing off all the filing dust and residue. I only needed a hand file for this guys. Poly gel is soft enough to file with your hands. So if you don't have an e-file, don't worry about it. So, okay, so do you remember these? Do y'all remember these? I got them from the show in Orlando and I never used them. I got the whole pack of transfer foils and the transfer glue for, I want to say $5 if I remember correctly. That was it. So I'm searching on this bottle to see if I could find the company name for you guys. So if you guys want to order it and it's not on here, I'm going to, let me try to look on the back of this. Okay, okay, so here we go. So it's from iGel Beauty, and I'm giving you guys a close-up to the website, so if you guys want to order. But again, I did not order it from the website. I got it from the show when I was in Orlando, the premiere show. So they gave me a really good deal. I bought the foils, and I got the glue for free. How freaking awesome. So this is my first time using a transfer glue or a transfer gel because y'all know my cheat behind, right? I was not buying no stinking transfer glue. What? No. I used to just use like regular clear polish. But hey, I got this for free, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> Had it not been free, I wouldn't have purchased it. I can tell you that now. That's a fact. So I put it on the nail. I let it dry in the lamp for 60 seconds. And now I am just sticking my little transfer foil to it. I mean, that is just the simplest, easiest way to create a nail look. So that's what I'm doing here. So stinking cute. And you could put it on to cover the entire nail and make it look like nail polish, but I don't like that. I don't want that. So I'm just going to put it on the nail just like this, but I want it to be a little bit more patchy. So I'm going to take this tool here and just scrape it because I don't want it to be as neat as it is. You know what I mean? So I'm just scraping it so that some of the poly gel color could show through because that's a gorgeous color. It's a gorgeous color, guys. It got to peek through. Like, hello, here I am. So I went ahead and did that to all the other nails except for this ring finger because I want to add a little bling to her. Hello, you know I had to do a little bling. So I'm using these Model 1 rhinestones that came in one of my other poly gel kits hello super cute and they're purple so i was like oh my god they're purple they match with the foils ah! so here we go i'm gonna just add those in hello and <laughs> i'm just doing no rhyme or reason just throwing them here or there and i played with them for about like two or three minutes until i decided on what i wanted to do i'm always so indecisive with my bling placement i treat it like it's a life or death situation every time i don't know why people but it took me so long to figure out this simple look you know what i mean all the other nails were so busy that the bling finger had to be like blingy and eye-catching but not crazy because i don't want all the nails to be crazy you know what i mean you know i gotta tone it down a little bit on one nail so this is what i came up with and i think it is so cute i do guys i would totally without a doubt rock this look hell yeah i would i love it it was simple it was easy and it was fast and now i gotta go because the kids are staring at me i told you guys in the beginning of the video that they are hungry and they are not playing i promised them that we could go to applebee's and so i gotta go i hope you enjoyed this look leave me a message with all let me know what you think about the model ones super cute and super portable poly gel kit and what do you think about my nail art was it too fussy was it just right let me know i'll see you guys tomorrow bye